Yep, I'm yeah, fine. We're good. Yep. Everybody, welcome back. Mark Igo alongside Dan Shine here at Dan Shine. Thanks for joining us here in between periods of a good one here with uh, Lowell Catholic now uh, leading Sitchwick three to one. And you were telling me off here that uh, you had a, an earlier season game against the Lowell Catholic team. Yes, we did, and they uh, they took us right down to the final minute. Uh, we had a sneak out a tie, but they're a they're a feisty team. They're they're well coached and uh, they play real smart hockey, and uh, they can compete with just about anybody. Yeah, they look good here tonight. We've had the pleasure of having them a couple of times. And, of course, uh, Sitchwood, we had them on last week as well. And a very talented team. Uh, you know, a lot of depth on that team as well. But I uh, want to talk a little bit about the upcoming games here. Uh, we've got the uh, Division I uh, game and then the 1A game, which obviously uh, you're on the, the committee, the committee chair of the 1A, and uh, talk a little bit about that tournament and, uh, and uh, any changes we might see coming up in the future. Well, you know, the... the the one, I think the 1A committee uh, did a superb job in the selection process. Uh, there's always uh, a couple of teams that uh, leave the room not too happy, but uh, that's life. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of discussion about Walpole, and Walpole certainly uh, uh, fared well in this tournament and proved to be a, a team that was uh, a worthwhile uh, participant in uh uh, uh, Central Catholic, another school that was uh, a lot of discussion about there in the finals tonight. Uh, so, I think uh, uh, I think we're going to see a terrific hockey game uh, uh, for the one A final between yeah. Arlington and uh, Central Catholic. And of course, uh, Arlington being uh, your backyard there, and uh, being a, a former spy ponder yourself, yeah. uh, so a, a rich history there. I think you said they're the Notre Dame of. Uh, high school hockey here in Massachusetts, but tell us about the Arlington Spy yeah, Ponda program. That's what Coach Missouri calls it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, certainly Arlington has a rich tradition in hockey for many, many years. Uh, you know, the, the, the last time they won the state title, I believe, was in 71, and uh, uh, they came back uh, a few years later in, uh, and lost to Medford uh, uh, in a championship game. But, uh, you know, th th they have a, a terrific uh, program. Uh, uh, Coach Missouri's done a great job uh, putting this team together, and and uh, they've had a they've had a real good tournament run. They've uh, they've played particularly well. They've got superb goaltending, uh, and um, you know usually goaltending is the difference when you get this far yeah, in the absolutely. season. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, and uh, yeah, strong between the pipes. And uh, you mentioned Walpole earlier, very strong goaltender there as well, and uh, a couple of publics uh, making their way along. And uh, you know this would be you know we've had. Two publics win the 1A, uh, and uh, since it's uh, history, you know, with uh, Redding and uh, Hingham having Correct. won, and so uh, it'd be nice to see uh, if Arlington, nothing against Central Catholic, but, you know, obviously, uh, you know, it's always good to see the publics in there, but uh, I did like the way it shook out. I mean, Marshfield also was another team that, um, you know, wasn't, you know, at the coaches' meeting or whatever, wasn't sure if they were going to get in. They get in, they won their play in game, and, and, and uh, Coach Conley able to take his boys there but uh you know so it seems like a little more parity um as we go there wasn't really a clear cut one uh, although malden catholic certainly played strong down the stretch but it seemed like you know it was really anybody's yeah. tournament to win yeah and i think when you especially when you get uh you know the play-in games it's a it's a it's a it's a one game elimination um mini tournament in itself uh winners uh move on into the uh, uh into the big uh tournament and then the other teams that uh, that fall short go back into their respective tournaments. So, uh, and then when you get to the semifinal round, which is the crossover round, uh, you know it, it becomes a, a one-game elimination tournament. Uh, you know, Arlington Arlington's uh, knock, knocking off uh, uh, Molly Catholic, Catholic and and uh, so I think it's it's good for the it's good for high school hockey. It's yeah, good for it really the tournament, is. and uh, it shows that um, in a one-game uh, elimination uh, format. Anything can happen. Yeah, and we've spoken about that, obviously, in some of the coaches meeting the single game uh, format, uh, possibly single elimination, possibly coming back into uh, the fold for the 1A, or the re you know the rest of the tournaments obviously play that as well. So uh, where does that stand now, Dan? Well, I, I don't think you're going to see a single elimination format, but uh, there is a recommendation coming before the Ice Hockey Committee in May that we go to a, uh, a two-bracket double elimination format with a single championship uh, game on on, on uh, this Sunday in March. So we'll see how that unfolds. But uh, we kind of think that the, the present format has kind of uh, lost its 
legs a little bit, and we're, we're looking for something a little bit more exciting, playing a different team each night rather than a two out of three series. So, you know, we'll see. We'll know in mid-May where we're going on that, but there is a proposal that's out there, and, and uh, it's, it's got some uh, support. So we'll see what happens. Good, good. Well, we always appreciate your time, Dan. I know you put a lot into this. Obviously, it's hard to believe we're at another, the end of another season, uh, not just – coaching but also all the committee work you do yeah you're, you're right it, it uh, the winter flies by and uh, this is the climax of it you know with uh, you know we, a lot of us were out in Springfield yesterday with the basketball tournament and uh, uh, and today finishes up uh, the winter sports so this is a great day for hockey and anybody who uh, who likes high school hockey this is the place to be on this Sunday excellent thanks Dan really appreciate your time thanks for coming thanks on always good to see you and uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll be sure to see you around yeah. the uh, the circuit here as we get ready uh, to uh, wind down the season. But uh, we'll be back with the start of the third period here again between Lowell Catholic and Situate. Lowell Catholic leading Situate 3-1 to and what should be a great ending here uh, as we get prepared for the Division I and 1A games. Thanks. <laughs>